Hello everyone. Our chapter 5 will talk about weakness. For this lesson and this video recording, we will define weakness and then differentiate expert from ordinary weakness and present qualification of an expert weakness. So remember, um, in your previous years, when we say weakness, a witness is someone who defined and enlightened information about incident or crime. So, example of this, may nakita, uh, may isang babae, nakita, nakakita siya na binangga yung batang tumatawid sa kalye. So, yung babae is considered as witness because she helps define and enlighten information about that incident. And then, yung information and information na yon can help lawyers or jury to understand everything. So, meaning, yung information provided by a certain person, or what we call as witness, can help a jury, meaning the, the judge or, and the jury and then the lawyers about a certain thing. So, remember, um, during criminal or civil cases, importante ang witness kasi witness can make or break someone from being a guilty to innocent or from being an innocent to a guilty one. So remember, witness can be anyone. Pwede lahat ng tao is maging witness. Pero, merong Merong some instances na hindi lahat ng tao ay pwedeng maging witness. Example noon is in a murder. An eyewitness can explain something. Nakita nung isa yung akto ng pagpatay. So, with his or her explanation, the information that he or she will be providing can help um, someone else's Example is lawyer, the judge, and then the jury to understand who, when, why, ano pa, where, and then who committed the crime. So, kung walang witness, may hirapan ang, ang criminal and civil cases to continue. So, according to study.com and academy lessons, Ang witness can be pulled from both the defense lawyer or prosecution. So, pwedeng magtanong si defense lawyer. Pag sinabi natin defense lawyer, lawyer siya nung nasasakdal. While for the prosecution naman, this is the lawyer of the state. So, ang target ng prosecution is to, to, to determine whether the suspect is guilty and to convict them. Ano po, gagawa at gagawa ng paraan ng prosecutors para malaman kung sino talaga yung involved sa crime. Kung si suspect pa talaga ay may kasalanan or wala. So remember, witness are always checked or assessed by their credibility. So titingnan din ng, ng husgado, titingnan din ng prosecution, titingnan din ng defense kung ang witness mo ba is credible. Example ng mga bagay that can make someone less credible witness are Example is bias about the defendant or accuser. Merong pangyayari in the past that may hamper the, the testimony of the witness to the defendant or the accuser. Another one is alcoholic or drug abuser. Bakit limitation ang alcoholic or drug abuser because their senses are affected by these chemicals. No job and homeless. So, overthinking yung jobless, yung homeless. So, may, may mga pagkakataon na iba yung kanilang rationality. And then, criminal past. Remember also that a witness in court may be either ordinary or expert. Pag sinabi natin ordinary, we will explain it later and expert, may comparison pa siya later. Ang ordinary witness po, pag sinabi natin ordinary witness, this is anybody or anyone who are called 
uh, who are present in the crime or in the crime scene or who witnessed the crime. So, ordinary witness yon. So, ang qualification niya is dapat meron siyang sense organs and a power to perceive. So, halimbawa, yung isang witness ay bingi pala para nakita niya yung pangyayari. So, pwede siyang maging witness pero may limitation siya. Kasi nakita niya na tumba kanyara yung, yung victim, binaril yung victim, hindi niya naman narinig kung saan saang side <clears throat> galing yung poto. Gaano kalayo yung poto. Um, according to the audio ref, uh, perception ng witness, so medyo affected din yung kanyang testimony. And then perceiving can make known his perception to others. So, counted na ng lahat or known ng lahat that he can perceive uh, or meron siyang sense of perceptions. And then he does not fall in any of the exception provided for the law. So, remember, ang opinion ng ordinary witness or even the expert witness can be either skilled, science, art, or trade. Meaning to say, kung hindi ka skilled in the art of doing testimonial appearance or testimony in the court, you are considered as ordinary witness. And then, pag may relation, relation na sa isang art, sa isang science, sa isang trade, then you are called by the court as expert witness. So, ano ang <clears throat> pagkakaiba ng expert at ordinary witness? First one, in ordinary witness, can only state what it what his senses have perceived. Kano lang yung nakita, naramdaman, narinig, naamoy, nalasahan. So, yan lang yung kayang sabihin ng ordinary witness. Pero si expert witness, kahit hindi niya nakita yung pangyayari, hindi niya naamoy, narinig, what, whatever um, circumstances that has been perceived by the senses, pwede niyang bigyan ng deduction ng opinion. Halimbawa, Nalasaan niya yung, yung victim na matamis yung liquid na iniinom niya. So, most probably, the expert witness can give deduction, opinion, or conclusion. Another one is, may not be skilled on the line that he is testifying. That is ordinary witness. Pero pag expert, pwedeng skilled siya sa art na yon. Example, um, sasabihin ng expert witness na ganito ang trajectory ng bala. Kasi yung kanyang skills is more on ballistics, if I'm not mistaken. And then for number three ng ordinary witness, dito, cannot testify on things na medyo malayo na or medyo malayo na sa perceptions niya. Walang expert witness, kahit wala siya dyan sa actual na pangyayari, kayang magbigay ng opinion, ng deduction or conclusion dahil trained or expert siya dun sa mga bagay na yun. Okay? And so, ano ang pagkakaiba pa ng expert at ordinary witness? Their difference is the um, ordinary witness can talk about something that is basic answer to the lawyer's question. Example, nakita, narinig. Ganun lang yung tanong ng lawyer sa kanya tapos ng judge. Pero pag binigyan niya ng opinion yung bagay na yon hindi niya kayang bigyan ng scientific explanation. Well, yun yung kayang gawin ng expert witness wherein they can interpret, the expert witness can interpret a fact from a known phenomena or phenomenon because trained siya doon. Example, um, yung ngayang suspect committed a horrendous crime. So, bakit niya committed yung horrendous crime na yun? Kunyari, yung suspect pa further is a drug addict. So, an expert witness can say that this person is not in a mentally, is not a mentally well person or he or she or the suspect is someone someone na medyo may problem in terms of mental capacity. 
Kasi, affected na yung kanyang rationality or way of thinking. And, sasabihin yon ng expert witness. Kasi, may knowledge siya about drugs. Example, pwede siyang chemist, pwede siyang um, psychologist, and etc. Okay, other types of witness. Yan, nabanggit na natin yung expert witness. Pwede ang expert witness can be a scientist, forensics, arson investigator, auto mechanics. So, pwede yung maging expert witness sila. A psychologist can also serve as expert witness. Pero, syempre, vini-verify din ng, ng judge, ng court, ng jury kung yung psycholo- uh, testimonial evidence or the testimony of the psychologist would corroborate with other psychologists as well. And an eyewitness, sino yung taong nakakita ng crime? Or nakawitness ng crime? Pag character witness naman po, they are somewhat that can prove personality and behavioral traits of someone. Kagaya ng kapitbahay, um, ano pa, yung teacher si witness, tapos estudyante ka niya, ikaw can serve as character witness. You can give character reference to the witness. Okay? And remember, witness role in the criminology process is very essential. Kasi remember, witness can determine what they know and how they will clearly describe the events. So, paniniwalaan ng korte yung established yung facts kesa sa sabog-sabog yung sabog na sabog yung testimony ng isang witness. Okay? So, anong halimbawa na to? So, an example of this is um, hindi pa paniwalaan ng korte masyado yung isang tao na may credibility of committing a crime. Kasi, probably, that person can enumerate the facts, enumerate the events. Kasi probably in the past, he committed the same crime. So remember, it is very stressful for the witness. Kasi he or she needs to prove his or her testimony to the court and to the defense and prosecution. And remember also that witness must make an oath. So, manunumpa siya. And special witnesses, pwede yung i-consider natin na witness yung 14 years old or have an intellectual disability. Kasi mayroon din naman silang sense of perceptions. May senses din naman sila. And they can simply tell the truth. Halimbawa, di ba yung sa ipaglaban mo, um, na-rape si Pauline Luna, yung character ni Sorry, what? Ni Pauline Luna ba yan? Or there is a character that was being, that was raped by her cousin and friends of, of, circle of friends of her cousin. So, may medyo intellectually ill yung tao or hindi okay yung pag-iisip ng tao. Pero, pinaniwalaan siya ng korte kasi still, he can tell the truth, as she can tell the truth. Okay? And remember also, if the subject of inquiry comes within the general knowledge of the judge, pwede hindi na kumuha ng expertness kung trained na yung judge sa mga ganong cases. And then, kung naman medyo kakaiba na yung mga evidence sa korte na binigay ng defense, or ng prosecution, example is the DNA sample, tatawag ang court ng expert witness. Okay? And remember, you have to qualify again for an expert witness, you have the degree of learning. Ikaw ay isang forensic criminologist, toxicologist, ano pa, investigator, arson investigator, chemist, psychologist, may degree. Or may training ka doon. Another one is the basis and logic of his conclusion. May scientific explanation yung conclusion niya. So, nagpa-follow siya doon sa degree of learning na nung 
nung nakuha niya, whether in his or her bachelor's, master's, or advanced studies, and other proof of case. Meaning, yung witness or yung expert witness, sinusuportahan niya lang yung, yung proof of cases by means of his or her deductions and logical conclusions. Okay, so these are the sources of my presentation. Thank you so much for listening. So your teacher now will give the activity in our Google Classroom. Salamat.